I sat for a long time over that child's body. He was cute as can be with his hair all over, almost like beach hair, and that look that he had always been a playful boy. But play was not in his future, at least not here anyway. I sat for a long time with him because he was dying alone, because a parental figure chose to hurt him and so his parents could not be there. I sat for a long time, not sure what to feel or what to think and my thoughts wandering from anger to sadness to thoughts of my own child. Today we come together in this ceremony and we tie ribbons to tell stories. The first is that we gather to tell the story of the children who came through our doors. By tying those blue and black ribbons on a fence that hundreds pass by every day, we dignify each of those children's lives. We proclaim that their story matters. The second story is that of a courageously caring staff. I have seen staff cry over these children, express righteous anger, and use gentle hands to heal many of these children. I speak to this heart among our staff now and express the gratitude and the blessing you are because of your deep compassion and the care for every family and child you come across. As we gather and tie ribbons, the story of our staff, both those who are here today and those who aren't here, the many staff, the many nurses who take care of our children, the story of our staff is shared here today and it is very heartwarming. May your hearts find peace and restoration as you compassionately care for each child and each family. And may you find hope in the healing hands and the stirred hearts of all the staff around you. But there is a third story too. The third story is that of the passerby, the curious observer as it were. We tie the ribbons because it is cathartic of course, but we also tie them because the numbers will always be too high, because abuse doesn't have to keep happening, and because it is easy for people to sweep it under the rug. But those ribbons raise awareness. They have a purpose. They don't have to change the world, but they can change a person. So today we tell three stories. We dignify the children, we honor our staff, and we open the eyes of others. May you be encouraged and challenged to hope today. And may your compassion be refilled and your hearts renewed in the sacred task of telling these stories.